Cześć! Witam Cię na kanale Silver Star Inwestycje Kobiecym Okiem. Dzisiaj druga część relacji z targów World Money Fair 2024. Jedziemy! Kontynuując pierwszą część relacji, zaczniemy od wrażeń firm z World Money Fair. Co sprawia, że te targi są dla nich tak bliskie? Berlin has this uh, connection with uh, this technical part of the forums. We have a lot of technical activity for people that work, but also this very significant, important side of this for the collectors, the opportunity to find everything here. Myślę, że jest to taka impreza e, jedyna w swoim rodzaju. Bardzo mało jest też wydarzeń branżowych, numizmatycznych. Myślę, że to też ma znaczenie. I ludzie chcą się ze sobą spotykać, chcą rozmawiać, wymieniać doświadczenia. I to jest idealne miejsce, żeby po prostu takie rozmowy odbyć, żeby poznać przed ciekawych, przez sympatycznych ludzi, którzy otwierają e, nasze umysły na nowe możliwości, pokazują nowe technologie, czy też możemy zaczerpnąć ins inspirację od innych mennic pomysłów, które oni już na świat wydali. World Money Fair to jest tak naprawdę stolica, jeżeli chodzi o numizmatykę, o metale szachetne, o kolekcjonowanie monet. I myślę, że to jest naprawdę takie miejsce, które stało się taką kolebką, jeżeli chodzi o, o tę branżę. This is where the industry meets. You know, the, the world comes to Berlin. Uh, there is no other place like it on earth in terms of, of, of meeting and networking with the industry from distributors to national mints to suppliers and of course let's not forget the collector this has been a tremendous forum for us a very important place for us to build important relationships on the b2b side just as much as on the b2c side so uh, we we love coming to berlin the atmosphere here is always welcome everybody knows each other and we can expand our contacts and also meet new people and yeah we are strong together i think the world money fair is a perfect example where mints dealers collectors meet and celebrate the passion for coins so here you can really have all parties and you have a good spirit and you can celebrate why coins are so exciting yeah everybody is here everybody connects everybody is a small world so everybody knows each other it's yeah like a family przejdźmy do największych sukcesów i momentów przełomowych w 2023 roku na rynku pojawiły się nowe firmy a już istniejące rozszerzyły spektrum działania it was successful yeah uh, it was over our expectation how we we we, we expect to be The first invoice we write down just early October, so we are just just uh, the real, let's say, business running only only four yeah. months, but we already faced first sold out. We present last year eight points in total. But I think the 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 biggest um, achievement it was to to make a to to make a rebranding, new rebranding of Lighthouse to explore our new face because numismatics and accessories they are as I already said. Um, we are trying to present it as a new light for every people. W 2023 roku ważne było szukanie innowacji oraz wdrażanie nowych technologii. Naszym największym sukcesem jest to, że stale odkrywamy nowe technologie. Jesteśmy dzisiaj tutaj w Berlinie na World Money Fair, gdzie widzimy jak rozwijają się techniki, nowe sposoby tworzenia monet i e, Cieszę się, że mogę powiedzieć, że Minister Królewski Kraków podąża za najnowszymi trendami i technikami w świecie numizmatyki i monet, monet kolekcjonerskich. We uh, expanded our minting capacity like four times or five times compared to like the previous five years. Chyba największym sukcesem w tamtym roku było opracowanie e, druku na sztabkach i stworzenie emisji. Niedawno wydaliśmy Freję, pierwszą z bogiń, w tym roku będzie sześć bogiń. Także myślę, że te sztabki, ale nie inwestycyjne, a kolekcjonerskie, były takim dosyć dużym sukcesem dla nas. I think it was uh, to take the different way, the difficult, but uh, to try to create things uh, innovative. So we always try to do things that never were done before. Firmy były najbardziej dumne z nowych produktów wypuszczonych na rynek. 
We were successful with a coin, uh, the necklace coin. You see the girls uh, are wearing it, uh, silver coin. So it was uh, the main success actually, really good sales in numbers. Myślę, że największym sukcesem Nisek Dańskiej była licencyjna współpraca z Warner Bros. Wydaliśmy Harry'ego Pottera, Matrixa, Friendsów i jeszcze wiele emisji przed nami. Our biggest success in 2023 was the, the, the launch of our first own brand coin with investment value and denomination. It is part of our Phoenix series. It first we released the Silver Phoenix series, which is in one ounce silver. And today, just a couple of days ago, actually, before the official start of the fair, we launched the complete golden series of the Phoenix. We had a lot of success with our, uh, our new luxury line of products called uh, the Opulence Collection. We've created uh, gold and platinum uh, coins, very high end with pink diamonds from the Argyle mine in, in Australia. Yes, very exclusive. And it was it was a way of reaching a new audience. Oh, we had some of, uh, some of them, some successful products. It was a lot about uh, the Harry Potter word of wizarding and, uh, or it's a wizarding word, that's the correct title. Lots of Harry Potter and all that magic stuff. We love that as well. But a classic, you see it here as well, is the federal products. German coins, silver coins, and another topic, it's uh, gold ingots, gold bars, small collector's bars, gold for everyone, not just for the rich ones. I think um, the biggest success was our uh, one kilo Aris coin. It was a uh, follow-up to our two ounce uh, coin. Um, you represent which year? 2017. 2017. Uh, this coin wins uh, many awards, so the biggest success was the one kilo yes, uh, last year. Yeah, Durga is the bullion coin that we brought out in the 2023. 10,000 pieces in around the world. We have our Celestial Beauty flagship collection that is selling very wonderful. Collectors is hunting for these pieces and we're proud of it. As, as you can see in our booth, our latest release was the Oriads with ultimate detailization and multi-type um, figures on the coin and we're proud about quality of this coin. We uh, focus on our core competences in creating cool coins and for example, one to mention is the Grand Canyon coin, huge success, very limited, and collectors really like it. And if collectors are happy, we are happy. I saw the zebra had uh, his uh, resonance. Uh, we just uh, loved, to make, we loved uh, to make the zebra and uh, we loved uh, how the public uh, reacted to the zebra. It uh, was uh, really amazing for our hearts, uh, really. We sold quite well on everything. Um, but for example, this was a coin issue, Pompeii, with the volcano from last year, where mm -hmm. you show what nature can do to the world, so destroy one whole city. So that was one big, big success. One of the maybe design-related things is that we released the world's first uh, coin designed by artificial intelligence. Pytając o plany na 2024 rok, spotkaliśmy się z lawiną różnorodnych pomysłów. Pierwszymi z nich były dalszy rozwój firmy i nowa oferta dla klientów. Our plan is to first point is as usual improve techniques, improve designs, but grow. For 2024, we expect make more coins, but only in the case that we can keep the high quality as we can do now. And we are introducing uh, the simple system of uh, uh, selling and purchase, and uh, we can buy back. And also we can offer you storage. So you are buying and, and you, you can keep it. it. You can keep it safe and uh, not in house. Kolekcjonerzy i inwestorzy mogą spodziewać się nowych monet, sztabek i planów emisyjnych. For 2024, we will introduce many uh, new articles uh, on the market, of course, from numismatics, accessories for numismatics. But uh, we are going also different ways. We understand our company, our mission also as a company of collectors. To be collector, it means also to collect everything, everything. We will try also to explore for us stones, minerals. In 2024, for sure, we are preparing a new series 
as uh, the Great Valhalla. We released it just uh, two weeks ago. It's a new series about Hot. Vikings. It will be a 12th edition saga of the most famous Vikings in design packaging. What I can tell you is uh, we will continue the Opulence collection, for instance. That will be announced <laughs> later in the fall. So there'll be a new exciting luxury coins. They won't feature pink diamonds. They'll feature another precious uh, enhancement, which you know, which people can uh, can look forward to. You have to stay tuned to us to find out more. We are planning a very large program of investment in commemorative coins and bars as well. So a lot of interesting things and a lot of exciting stuff are going to happen for this year. We will go on with uh, some funny gold topics, of course, but it's 24. It's all about European Soccer Championship in Germany. Just turn around, it's all around here. Olympic Games, we love that it's uh, close awesome. to us in Paris. So these are big event topics in 2024. 2024 for us um, is an exciting year. We have a fantastic new technical world exclusive new technique. It's called Smart Minting 4.0. This is our new baby, it's the Iron Knight coin ultra high relief, very, very detailed, and we are really proud that we can bring that one onto the market this year. The second motif now after the bee is a lady bird, mm -hmm. is the second motif, and I think it's amazing uh, about the pattern. We invented also mm -hmm. new. Earth coin is, is important to know that it's coming. One of the things we have the continuation of the AI coin, uh, and to the continuation of all of the, our design series. And we are also starting to produce gold bars uh, with limited mintages. Na pewno kontynuacji współpracy z Warner Brosem. E, niebawem takie monety jak Space Jam, e, kolejna moneta z Harrym Potterem. Planujemy również kontynuację serii Bestie Słowiańskie oraz e, oczywiście kolejna moneta z Robertem Lewandowskim. We already have, let's say, uh, three coins which will come uh, in near future. So we have the Treasure Island, Pirate, uh, Nimbus, we have, uh, let's say, Beautiful Girl and the Monster, the, the, the yeah, top court. Yeah, so wonderful. it will be present, let's say, in the near future. I could say that we have a plan for this year, that our, let's say, regular phase will be two points per month and maybe later even more. Mamy trzy nowe serie które pojawią się w tym roku i to będą e, po pierwsze artefakty. Będziemy kontynuować serię Mythical Forest. Tutaj troszeczkę można dostrzec, że będzie e, Skull and Hattie. To będzie pierwsza moneta z serii Ragnarok, czyli jak gdyby końca świata oraz seria artefaktów. I tutaj też możemy troszeczkę podejrzeć, że pierwszym będzie e, Gliarhorn, czyli róg Heimdala. Uh, we are introducing gold bars, uh, designed uh, specially for Lithuanian marketing, Lithuanian, uh, only in Lithuanian language. Ponadto czeka nas wiele niespodzianek. Well, I don't know if I can tell you what are our plans, because, you know, everything must be a surprise. Aww. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we have something new, which we start in 2023. Uh, it will be a bit different style because uh, mostly I love antique Finnish coins, but this time we we working on something a little bit different and more innovative, let's say. And we would like to make a um, surprise to our collectors. <laughs> we have a special year commemorative year with special products, uh, products that we never done before. But for this, you have to wait to follow us in our website and we will drop it according to the, the next month. Uh, but uh, I can tell you very, very interesting and very innovative coins. 2024 rok będzie pełen nowych emisji, nowych technologii. Na ten moment nie mogę zdradzić dużo, ale zachęcam do, do obserwowania i do śledzenia nas. Nie chcesz, żeby Cię coś ominęło? Obserwuj nasze social media oraz social media firm, z którymi rozmawialiśmy. Dzięki za dzisiaj. Cześć!